How are Hi, you? Hi, Anton. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Those who love How? our colors, red oh, and man. green, it's so festive. Of course. We're speaking yes. in the midst of pandemic. I yes. hope we're bringing good cheers to everyone. Hello. Hello. Hello to everybody who's uh, watching on the live stream in Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and Kumu. Hi, guys. Um, so we're talking to a very special person. No? Uh, so this person big this year and she is known uh, for her Monique cakes, artis- artisanal cakes. And we're talking to uh, Monique Tan Conjo about M cakes. So please join us. Uh, my name is Anton Diaz, founder of Our Awesome Planet. And this is Awesome Live with M cakes, uh, Monique. Uh, can you do a short clip? Short clip. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you do a short clip? Short All right, Monique. So for uh, I know you have a lot of fans, no, with your cakes now. Oh, really? maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, you can. Uh, <laughs> Go back. Uh, maybe can you do a short introduction? And how did you started baking cakes uh, during this pandemic? Well, hello, hello again to everyone listening. But to make the long story short, I mean, I've been baking since you know, but after this pandemic, you know, with um, you know, with a lot. In fact, kasi this pandemic, tiba, you could hardly see your family, your friends. You are able to socialize. So, um, ayun, I just wanted to cheer people up by sending them something sweet. And who would say no to a cake, tiba? When you see a cake, tiba, automatically you you smile because it's associated Aww. with celebrations and gatherings. Ayun, so I started giving out the cakes as gifts in the beginning. Until some people wanted more and uh, were willing to pay. So I said, why not? <laughs> anyway, and before I knew it, I was already um, selling my cakes. Okay. And uh, what were you doing before uh, the M Cakes? You're doing this uh, full time. And when did you start this uh, cakes uh, this year? Well, I started baking early this year. But Again, I, it was not the business. It was maybe as gifts. But in terms of making a business out of it, sometime in May or early June, then we went live and we went public with Facebook just before the article of Monique on Philippine Star came out. I think it was August. Mm-hmm. And on okay. Instagram, my cousin initiated a... An Instagram account page for me sometime in June. Uh-oh. But at the moment, we've already, I'm overwhelmed and so thankful. Because uh, right now, we have a strong 2,000 and plus followers um, already on Instagram. Organic, organic followers. So if you're Uh-oh. listening here, thank you. Paano, uh, can you tell us how paano nag-start? Uh, paano nag-start yung first cake na nabenta mo? Uh, how did you transition from giving it to, you know, just friends and family and and selling it? Uh, can you tell us a story? Yeah. I know I I really don't remember exactly when because I used to just post randomly pictures of the cakes that I bake or sometimes when I'm doing frosting late at night I just randomly wanted to share pictures and then your common friend Monique Toda. She saw the cake that I posted and asked me if I was selling because she wants to buy. And, you know, without even asking what it was, how much it was, or if I was really selling. So, sabi ko, and then some of Monique Torda, my, my other good friends, and cut, and they started asking me. Sabi ko, no, naman ako magpresyo. So, I asked them, what, how much are you, okay, I send you a cake, and you tell me how much you're willing to to pay for it or you know the value that you see okay so yung iba you would be surprised and told I don't know kung naawa sila sa akin o natutuwa lang sa akin but some of them were giving me like okay I price this at 5,000 pesos are you serious 
Yung ano hindi ka ng 10,000. Ang gusto mo sa awa at sa akin, so kasi wala akong work. Pero, but eventually, they, I mean, at joking aside, they really, really, you know, they're your close friends. And, you know, nothing's gonna stop them from telling you if it's good or bad, di ba? And uh, they, were sa- they were telling me, see, can you buy my cakes? And I want to give it to my friends and family. I want to share it because it's so good. So I guess, going back to your question earlier, what made me, kung saan ako nagsimula? Um, I guess it's because somebody believed that I could actually bake. <laughs> Doon nagsimula yun. Somebody believed that I could, you know. Uh-oh. And um um no I wanted to ask you what was the first um parang variant or you know cake that really uh, took off but uh, before you answer that we'll say hi to Jen lang to Jen Burgos uh, Oh hi Jen I know her <laughs> she's just my classmate in high school And uh, and of course Jill Ngo hello uh, <laughs> hi Jill Hi Hi So Um, so, ano, ano ba yung cake na nag-take off at the start na Well, na the start, na, it all, uh-oh. yes. It all started with the strawberry shortcake. The strawberry okay. shortcake started everything, you know. Um, I don't know, siguro mag, magulat na lang ako. Ang dami na, hindi ko na, na, hindi ko na mabilang siguro in a week, I would sell about 20 cakes. Nung nagsa-start pa lang ako, I would just post a picture on Facebook and they would start to inquire and I'll answer back. O sige, tapos without knowing at weekends, I would sell 20, 15, 20 cakes in one day. Sabi ko, this, these are serious, but okay, I guess you will know if they like it and they come back and ask for more, di ba? If they come oh, back yeah. and or they're more asking for any variations of the cake, so... Ayun, hindi ko na napansin, Anton. I was just baking and baking and it kept me busy. Okay. Now, um, hindi ka ba, you start, you just started really selling cakes this year, di ba? Hindi ka ba na-intimidate? Yeah. There's already a lot of cakes, you know, cake bakers uh, in Manila, of course, during the first lockdown. Uh, and then, uh, right now, uh, what, do you think, what did you think, um, m- bakit naging uh, successful yung uh, launch mo ng cakes this year no uh, even if you started this year um you know i have to be honest with you nung nagsa start ako ng cake hindi ko talaga i was just focused on what i wanted to do there were okay. friends who were sending me um instagram links of other cakes out there but you know what i, I started to feel insecure nako parang hindi ko ata kaya itong ang gaganda kasi let's face it ang dami magagaling mag-bake oh, ang dami masarap and, dami. and plus now with you know madaming um, professional chefs that are out of work and they started doing their own businesses from home talaga makikita mo magaganda sila and I am one of those who buy cakes from them you know but then I started you know what for my own self um, you know self-confidence hindi na lang ako tumitig pizza <laughs> I just focus on my strengths and what I can do and what I can improve. And then once in a while, I will browse for some inspiration. But I really don't dwell. I don't. I I, I don't have the heart to dwell because parang nihiya ako. <laughs> nihiya ako. I, I'm giving you. Sabi ni Jen, the most beautiful and delicious strawberry cake I've ever tried. Uh, thank uh, you. Yes, and uh, for uh, actually, um, I- I'll share this also. When uh, I had my b- birthday, we really wanted to try uh, new cakes, no? <laughs> so you had your <laughs> strawberry cake. I will share that photo for everybody. No, because uh, people were asking, "Ano ba yung cake na yan? Uh, th- So the strawberry cake uh, was your famous oh. one, and you have this uh, guava cake. Can you tell us a uh-huh. uh, story of the guava cake also? What the guava has, meron siyang sentimental value or meaning sa akin. Kasi, you know, growing up, we had this guava trees in my lola's house in Tahanan and my cousin's house in Horseshoe. And my late dad would always tell us, you know, the value, the nutritional value of guavas. So whenever I can find guavas, I always make sure that they're part of our, you know, food at home. 
Tapos, well, now that I'm baking, tapos kumakain ako ng guava, sabi ko, bakit hindi? Because I made guava jellies out of them. Tapos, and I had the strawberry shortcake. So, because maybe I should try a variation. If you're gonna look at it, the strawberry shortcake and the guava has very close similarities. Except that um, the guava the guava cake has a guava jelly in, the, in you know, as a... Um, filling yes and then of course i enhanced it with the guava guava flavor okay. and i'm using local organic guavas but sometimes before because means it mahira bag hanap ng red guavas for that topping i started using the imported taiwan guavas but they are mm-hmm. not as yummy they are not as i know flavorful as our local ones. Kaya, ayun. But sometimes you would see, I use it as a topping. Kasi consistent yung color niya. Pero the filling oh. and everything is always local guava. Yeah, that's good. No? And uh, now, uh, we're actually trying uh, two cakes. Uh, and maybe you can describe <laughs> it for <laughs> the people viewing. No? So let's start with this. <clears throat> oh, that's the Grand Slam. This what is this? Land. Uh, well, and, what and you're having it? right now, that is, well, let me give you a background of that. That cake is inspired by the first tennis man in history to ever gain 20 Grand Slam titles. That's no less than Roger Federer himself. Okay, I have to let it out that I'm a fan of Roger. <laughs> so, um, just like that, it has four winning ingredients. The luscious chocolate. Then the gooey okay. caramel topping and filling okay. and the crispy Belgian wafers around it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, the last is the uh, decadent moist oh. chocolate cake. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's the winning combination. Ano, ano, um, what did uh, people say? Uh, you know, chocolate cake, uh, <laughs> the chocolate cake <laughs> is very... And daming um, chocolate cakes in Manila. <laughs> no? uh, how did you... Yeah. Ano, got in, into Break this in. and ano sabi ng mga tao? Uh-huh. Oh, then, alam mo, kasi, diba, they don't know, they haven't tried. Most of them are, everybody was my first time clients, first time customer. But I guess what attracted them was the presentation itself. This is quite unique. And, um, yeah, they, they say the presentation is very well thought of. And maganda, it's pleasing to the eyes. So, so that that got them to buy it. Tapos yung tinikman nila. Mas, it match naman. Uh, why not just the match yung, yung ganda niya sa serap. Ikaw, you can say you have to tell me. Ako. No, ang sarap niya. Yung, this wafers, ano story ng wafers? Ah, the wafers, um, those are, I, I, I'm not gonna take credit for that. I buy them. Those are imported southern chocolate wafers that I use. I have oh, variation. I also have white chocolate, but which I haven't introduced yet. Um, okay. And also a cappuccino version. But the first one that I launched was with a cup, uh, caramel topping and filling. But oh, a lot awesome. of people are clamoring for an all chocolate 5G cake. And okay. very recently, I started to introduce that too. Okay. Yesterday, I got uh, beside yours. Uh-oh. Besides what you what you got, I had a few more cakes, just all chocolate. Just on chocolate. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Manila loves chocolate cake and strawberry yes. cake. Ayan yung mga uh, ah, comfort so food in Manila. <laughs> no, pasok ka. Oh, actually, uh, you need to compete on those two, eh, uh, to be really good. Uh, those need to be really good. Pero pumasa kay Monik Toda, so. <laughs> Okay, there. <laughs> well, actually, I... speaking of Monique, uh, it's Benji's birthday today, and she and he had both the strawberry shortcake and the Grand Slam, all chocolate version. Oh, the chocolate version! Wow, happy birthday! Yeah. So, Joan said, um, "Love the short hair, Fox." Oh, <laughs> thank you. I love your cakes too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Monique is watching. Thanks, so right. Hi, Monique. Uh, Hi. Yeah, I have to give a shout out to Monique until I was telling you, diba? Oh. So because when I was starting, Monique, without doubt, without even questions, just said, oh, you're selling this? I'm gonna buy. So I said, oh my God, 
you know, for someone like Monique who has the, you know, she, there's not just Monique, but all of her clients have multiple choices available out there. Uh, and for them to, you know, show some faith in you or support really meant a lot to me. And I guess that fueled the passion, that fueled, that inspired me to, you know, make sure that the cakes that, cakes that I'm creating are really you know, would meet or even exceed their expectations. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, they're still happy with what I'm offering. They keep coming back for more. Oh, nga. Galing, nga. Oh, nga. So, when uh, Jen said the yummy chocolate cake, oh, nga. The, actually, we, the, our kids tried the chocolate cake pasadong pasadong. Oh. And, uh, you know, the chocolate cake, Anton, sometimes if I know that it's for kids, I put some cookies and chocolate balls on top. Pag alam ko, it's going to be a birthday, a birthday ng mga bata. I just give it away for additional lang, additional gift. I'm sorry, I'm losing your audio. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so we'll okay. be trying the another cake. Uh, but before that, um, uh, I'll ikwento ka rin lang sa mga nanonood, no? Uh, when we first learned about M cakes from uh, our friends Spanky. So he wanted to try it nga on my birthday. Pero nilalaman namin sa new location <laughs> sa Antipolo. So I wanted to ask uh, are there a, a lot of people reacting na the pickup location is Antipolo? Uh, and was that a consideration for you starting? Kasi alam mo kung bakit uh, parang you're a proof that uh, you can really start a business anywhere already, no? Exactly. Kahit na nasa Antipolo ka, di ba? So, what was your first, uh, what what goes on on your mind about your location? Kung okay ba yan o hindi? Yeah. Uh, what goes on in your mind about your location, yung Antipolo? Ano sabi ng mga tao, mga customers mo? Um... Kasi ganito, Anton, I'm, I know, may, may pagka-proactive ako eh. So, when they start to ask my location, I also ask their location. So, I try to meet them halfway. So, like, you know, I have lots of relatives. Most of my relatives are from the South. Sometimes, the syempre, I grew up also in the South. So, Paranaque, so I've got lots of friends in there. So, I try to meet them halfway by offering to pull the orders so that the, they can share the delivery cost. Although, minsan, alam mo, minsan nahihiya ako kasi they're willing to pay for the delivery. And the delivery alone is already 1000 to 1200 including the toll fee. Just the cake is 1200 if you're getting the vanilla, the caramel, or the guava. Parang, nahihiya naman ako. So, minsan, I try to put more guava, I put more strawberries. Parang lang, it would be more value. Pero hindi naman, alam ako, this is all we got and we paid this much but then so again so i organize i offer to organize carpool deliveries especially on weekends when i get a lot of bulk orders mm. and that normally works or misan kunyari sa san juan or i have drop off here and there so isang car lang will have like up to six drop offs and i just make sure that i organize it in the car with a number to help the, the driver also dispatch it correctly. Alright, yes. Ayun, pero ayun, di ba, syempre, di ba, pag bin, willing sila magbayad ng gano'n, parang <laughs> performance level ka, di ba? Parang, oh my God, nakakakahiya. And I think it really, I, I feel so honored that they, they're willing to oh. pay that much for the Yes. Cake. Congrats. Now, let's uh, try the second cake. So, what's this, uh, I'm kidding, what's the story of this cake? It's called, if that's the pecan pie cheesecake. I don't know if that's the correct term to call it. Because I uh-huh. love of pecan pies. And at the moment, I still haven't achieved the crust that I'd like to have. And I don't like to offer naman, you know, uh, hindi maganda na crust. And I haven't achieved, I tried many times. And I, even ako, hindi ko nagugustuhan yung result. So, but cheesecake, a lot of people are asking me for cheesecakes. And mm-hmm. uh, so I thought of that. So that one has pecan, ground pecans, kamba ano, dun sa crust niya, together with the ground crust. Ah, dito, nasa crust? Okay. Yes. Meron siyang, meron siyang, ano, um, 
Can you taste it? Yeah, can you yeah. tell? Because oh. I made it, I made sure that medyo, ano siya, malalapit. So you can actually, for additional texture, you can actually... Oh, you can taste it. Masarap nga. Get rin. it, right? Tapos, um, and then the half a pound. That's about, nako, madaming check pounds, and it's about 200 grams. <laughs> I can't count one. Ah, talaga. <laughs> madaming check <laughs> So, um, where do you get uh, inspiration for the cake flavors? Cake flavors, um, first for your creation, like yeah. the strawberry shortcake is my favorite. You know, it's my favorite ever since. So uh, that one, I'm very confident. You know, tapos the guava cake, the first guava cake I've ever tasted was in Hawaii, in Honolulu, where guava cake is uh, a very popular. So a lot, some of them were from my travels. Some of them were inspired by, you know, my family cakes. Tulip caramel cake was just an old traditional, old-fashioned um, chiffon cake. But in Bata, diba? If, if, hello? Are you there? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, anyway, so the inspiration is sometimes, I also get, you know, when I was working in uh, in the hotels, SF&B and... I used to manage restaurants on board ships and the former job. I've always been surrounded by a lot of food. And I have access, direct access to the kitchen, the pantries. I can I can ask a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, the chefs are always my buddy buddies, my best buddies on lahat ng trabaho ko, sila yung best friends ko. So I get inspired by them. I get inspired by their cre- creativity. Sabi ko, palaki ko sana. Magaya ko sila. <laughs> so, <laughs> ayun. Yun lang. So, I, sinong I chef it. yung ano, when you were in the hotel, sino yung chef na nandun during that time? Um, you mean Raffles? Oo, yes. Nakabuta mo ba sila, ano? I was part of the chef? pre-opening. Pre-opening ah, team of Raffles. Of yes. Wow. Yes, I was part of the batayon. Hindi pa tayo sa Raffles. We are always in really? Raffles. I know you were always with it, it, at Raffles. You were regular there, but I already we've met a couple of times, but very very briefly lang because you know you were mostly dealing with your with director food and beverage and si Monitoda and Loni and ako naman when I see the, the guests are already taking care of the, one of my colleagues. Okay na ako, masaya na ako. Kasi alam ko na, I mean, if this powerhouse are already taking care of you, hindi mo na ako kailangan, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, kamusta naman, that, yan, yan nga, yung experience from from a hotelier and now you're a home-based baker na successful. How's that so far? Oh, are you enjoying it? Hindi pa masyado, hindi pa. Hindi pa, oh, yeah, hindi definitely. pa. Sige, on the way. Definitely, are you enjoying definitely. it? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, you know, I'm I'm very thankful because I I can get to do um, something that I really enjoy. It's close to my heart. Plus, you know, um, I've had offers to go back to corporate overseas again, but with the pandemic and the, the health issues of my mom, I, parang hindi parang I'm having second thoughts of leaving. It's not easy for me to leave, so I I pray for the Lord. Give me directions if I'm leaving or if I'm staying. But I believe the Lord, we we still have the same God everywhere, whether in Germany or Switzerland, in Makati or Atipolo, it's we're serving the same God. And Sabi naman, if you he will bless the works of your hand, right? As long as you offer your talents, your gifts, your time to him, he will bless. And I believe that in my heart. And Sabi go every time. An offer comes in, or sometimes we say I get frustrated because I'm not tired. I'm big. Alam mo, Anton, ako lang magisa when I started, but now I have an assistant baker. He's not that ano pa well experienced. Although he's been working for 15 years now with his company, but he kept doing the same cake every I mean, every single day of that 15 years. So sabi ko. Come, come here. Join me. Let's learn together. <laughs> so, yun, nakakatulong ko siya. Pero, alam mo, every time, misa pumapasok sa isip ko na, oh, 
balik na lang ako doon. Kasi di ba, mas stable na yun. And some people said, you know what, it's why did you turn back your earnings or corporate when it pays well? That's how it's But every time I try to open my CV, something good happens with this, you know, with this big business I get in. Talaga? Yeah, something, something really comes up. And so the Lord, if it's your will for me to do this, then so be it. And I guess all roads are leading to this. So, um, maganda naman yung ano, feedback. <laughs> Kailangan lang natin maritain. <laughs> Oo, oh, tsaka maganda yung packaging. Maganda yung packaging niya. Uh, oh, pag umabot sa Laguna yung mga cakes, it's still intact. Um, oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. Paano mo naisip yan? Na, was that intentional also, the packaging? Well, the packaging, I, um, I'm, I don't know what to call it. But, but, um, I wanted something, I'm, I'm, mahilig ako sa afternoon English tea. And that's, you know, I like the traditional cakes. I like this, you know, I enjoy that very much. So, yun yung nakita kong packaging that actually stands out. When you see, you know, pag may mga parties, Christmas, ganyan, and daming boxes of cakes, you can see mine in, in a pool of boxes because it stands out. It's not generic. It is not generic. Okay. okay. Ayun, now, so, um, so, since uh, we're Christmas themed <laughs> in this stream, Oh, yeah! We're uh, with red what? and green. <laughs> what's your uh, what's in store for Monique Cakes uh, this coming oh, Christmas season? Oh, naisip mo na ba yan? Know. Naisip mo na? Oh, oh my bang? God! Nako, Anton, hindi na ako nakakatulog. <laughs> I'm so excited for Christmas. <laughs> so, move on. I know, parang, pero I'm, I have this um, basta, I have this Christmas theme cakes. Um, Specially designed for um, kids. I'm sure the kids will love it. Um, yes, and I'm also. I think there's also some projects with partnership with some companies that I'm currently working on. Um, when it's ready and when the deal is done, I will share. I share it with you. But uh, yeah, for Christmas, I will have some, maybe a few varieties. Now. Kasi, but uh, the, the strawberry shortcake will remain untouched. It will still remain the way it is. Um, because it's a classic. And a, a few more, maybe two, three more cakes um, will be added so, on the offer. Yeah. How many cakes do you have uh, right now uh, that are available to order? Parang ang dami, no? Um, yes. Hindi ka alam mo, Good question. I haven't counted. Because it means that somebody would request something. Sabi ko, sige, I will try to do it. But it's not out in the... It's not officially on the menu. Mm. Oh, speaking of that also, Anton, if I, if you, if I may just add, um, some of the cakes, like the strawberry shortcake and the guava, I can have it... Um, I use a substitute called monk fruit for those with health issues or those people who are watching their sugar or just basically just health conscious you know you don't need to be sick but some people especially now the black people are more conscious with the with their sugar intake i use the monk fruit as a substitute and i've, been, I've tried stevia and all that but uh, i like the monk fruit the best and people can actually order them um, for a minimum charge additional, but um, yeah, but I still have to tell people that <laughs> only those close to me know that I'm offering that. Oh, yeah, no, no, that that's good. You have to put that out because, like, uh, my mom, for example, if it was a cake for my mom, then yan yung mga requirement, yan, no? uh, at least for yeah. parents. Um, and but it's the same thing I give to my mom because. Alam mo, bumabaha ng cake sa bahay. Misa nakakalimot kami. <laughs> nakakalimot kami. Madami ng sugar. Dati zero sugar. Ngayon kayo, bumabaha ng sugar. So, sabi ko yan, maganda ako. Uh-huh. So, uh, so, so far, um, 
what was your uh, biggest lesson uh, so far no you're just starting and we're doing this stream for those people starting din naman uh, especially during this year no what was your biggest lesson uh, that you can share with uh, people you know starting a home based business this year um what is do what you like <laughs> Let's start with something that you find something that you actually enjoy doing and then take it from there. Um, it also helps that, you know, to have the right people. When you listen to the right people, that would actually encourage you. I know I had mentioned this to you earlier in passing. Now, you know, I never knew that I could have, uh, I could do a business like this. I'm not the, I've never had Beside my halo halo when I was a kid, you know, or once in a while I would bake cake when I was in the hotel and sell it to my colleagues, but it was nothing as serious as this that I had to invest. Um, it's good. It's, it's very important that, you know, you ask yourself what you like to do and ask yourself why you want to do it, right? What is it for? Is it for your glory or is it, you know, to... Ano bang, ano bang objective mo why you do things this things, right? And important then that you focus on your strengths. Like madaming distractions, madaming, madaming competitions out there. It's good to listen to see what, what you are up against. But I don't consider them naman against them. I think kung daming, how many millions of people are out there. <laughs> Hindi kaya ng supply. Diba? So... Just, just focus on your strengths and improve your strengths, right? And give it your best shot. You know, there's if there's one thing I'm very proud of, um, the CSI is that there's lapag limo bas na cake dito sa bahay namin na na hindi ko minahal. Alam mo na, you know, from the conception of the recipes to the selection of the ingredients. You know, sometimes in some people don't go out because there's pandemic and this is the only time I go out really is to make sure that I get the best fruits out there. In the meantime, I have to also, um, how do you say that? Sometimes I have to cover the expenses. If it's not right, I don't serve it. You know, that's how, how much, how committed I am to my clients. Sinabi mo nga, there's so many choices out there, but for them to choose to buy from you, you know, that's that speaks volume, and I don't want to disappoint anybody. I'm sure I cannot please everybody, but you know that 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 was my that's my motivation to ensure that my clients see the value of what they're getting. They see the thought, the love, the care from you know the flavor, the packaging. Sabi mo nga, the lahat binibigyan ko ng attention. I hope that would bring a smile to their faces when they see her open the box. Pag bukas mo pala na box, you smell the strawberries, no? Or you smell the guava. Because I use only the freshest ingredients. And that's the, 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 Ayun, and just be happy and offer it all to God. Offer it all to God. You can never be wrong. Amen. Because, you know, glorify the Lord in everything you do and you will never fail. You may stumble here and there, but it doesn't mean it's the end of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, congratulations. I'm happy that uh, <laughs> I get that more and more people get to know you. You know, the, oh, thank you. the baker behind the cake. Uh, actually, sumasarap yung cake once nakilalo mo pa the person behind it. So, oh, thank and, you. Uh, congratulations. And uh, maybe uh, finally, just final message and invite them. No? Where can they order? How can they get in touch with you? And for I'm sure you'll have more collaborations in the future. Yes, thank you. Again, thank you, Anton, so much for patiently waiting for me to do this interview. And thank you for giving me a platform to invite people to come and visit our, my, our site. Um, so far, we only have um, Facebook and Instagram. Um, well, you can see the menu there. Visit. Do send us a, um, a message, direct message, if you have inquiries or... Um, anything you order, I, I try to accommodate as much as I could. Your mga questions in you, but sometimes forgive me because I'm dalawa lang kami ng pinsan ko and also my friend 
who are trying to um, manage the, the Instagram messages and orders. So I hope you will be patient. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to hear from you. And uh, yeah, they can, I hope that you can try in my next one of these days. Sorry, congratulations. And uh, what's the lead time usually Thank for you. your cakes? Uh, ano ba yan? Uh, one day? <clears throat> um, well, or... best is you, if you could tell me at least a day in the time. Okay. But we can bake naman, um, up to 16 cakes a day. But I don't store cakes. Because I, uh, I... I mean, not I don't store cakes more than two days. So, minsan, okay. nagpapasobra ako. Now, one or two cakes depends on, you know, the influx of okay. orders. But weekends, I usually have an extra strawberry shortcake and Grand Slam. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, big slam, big slam, kalan, minsan kasi nila, gold deluxe ako, itatawag na lang sila bigla na, oh, I want a cake right now. Oh, sige, okay. <laughs> sige. But I prepare naman the basis that I finish, the, do the finishing on the spot before the stash. So... And then, but I'm hoping na kung may mga nakikinig dyan, Anton, may kilala kang mga ex-bakers who are still looking for um, a job. Oh, yeah. So, anyone wants and willing to work with me, and we can learn together, okay? Don't think that I'm a, ako, magaling na akong baker. No, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm just curious and I'm just, you know, I'm just passionate with what I do, but if there's someone there who'd like to join me in my team, Please message me or message Anton. Thank you so much. Uh, before we close, uh, Jen said, yeah, packaging pa lang. You can feel your love. <laughs> and Rian said, kilala mo si Rian? Hi, Ryan. Yes, Ryan. yes. Oh my gosh. Rian, Rian is my boy from Raffles. Ah, Hi, Rian. Right. I couldn't uh, read. So, sa tingin mo, papasa ang cakes mo sa Raffles? If ever? Uh, naku, that's not for me to say. Sila magsabi, I mean, my guest. But you know what? Madami akong guests from Raffles who are who are ordering from Oh, I want to do a shout-out for my Langa, Veronica Borja, and my cousin, Belle Corrales, who talagang my biggest supporter of my cakes. And dami kong kaya sa Raffles, ha? You wouldn't believe it. I mean... Yeah. I've kept in touch with my guests naman there. Talaga? Wow! Congratulations! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and finally, I was able to share you, uh, you know, you share your message to all the people watching on the live stream. And guys, um, uh, thank you to all the people watching in Kumu. Maraming salamat. Please share this video to, uh, to your family and friends. And I'm sure you guys are looking for a special cake for this Bur season, especially we're in the pandemic also. And uh, cakes kasi, alam mo, uh, sa lahat ng pinaka-search for online na food, it's really cake is on top, no? Ever since last year. Kasi nga, cakes give joy, you know, uh, during uh, during this time. And uh, what yes. more during this uh, Christmas season. So, and yes, you're yes, the, yes. the baker of the year in a sense for a lot of people. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you so I'm much humbled. for doing what you do. Please don't say that. Kinakabahan ako. Nahihiya ako sa mga magagaling na siya. Hindi naman. Thank you. Oh, pero yeah, yeah. That's good. And then you're all the way from Antipolo. And finally, may phone. But you know, Spanky, nagahanap ako ng bahay sa Mandaluyong so that I would be in the middle of ano, Quezon City and the South para mas mas para in the middle. Malapit sa lahat. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. But this should not be an issue. I will help them. Oh, you'll help them. So it okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and uh, maraming salamat. Thanks for uh, spending time. I know you're baking a lot of cakes, and uh, for you to you know focus on uh, having this discussion with us. Uh, maraming salamat. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. It's been an honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Picture tayo. Picture tayo.